everyone welcome back to another video today i have a bunch of cards to put away into my binders i feel like it's not a ton it'll probably be another kind of like a shorter video but that's okay <laughs> so today we have not a huge variety i feel like there's a lot of 10 <laughs> are we surprised um some rise kiss of life more nct there's a lot for moon sua I've been buying a lot of her cards recently. She's just been on my brain and I can't <laughs> stop thinking about her. Like, I think she's my new, like, female ult. And I've been thinking about that for a long time, but I don't know. Like, I just haven't bought as many cards until recently. So, I don't know. I have a lot of feelings about her. <laughs> but anyway, so Sua, we have Espa. I think there's like one card for each of Red Velvet and Le Seraphim, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the smaller collections and we'll work our way up. So I think I'm going to start with Espa. Let me get their cards. I have actually quite a bit for them, so that's exciting. I feel like the angle looks different. Should I like zoom in? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I think I'm gonna zoom in a smidge. Oh, there we go. Maybe, I think that's better. Okay, so for the Gourleys, we have, okay, let's see. These are non-album. We have a lot of Giselle, what the heck? <laughs> I love her though. Okay, so we have, my world and those are drama i think those are all like exclusives so let's flip ahead here um this one i believe is is it her barnes and noble oh gosh okay it's not amazon this is target it's not target is it i think it's barnes and noble i don't know if i'm wrong I'll fix it later. <laughs> Don't yell at me. And then drama. Oh wait, winter I think is the drama version. Isn't she? I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Oh no, she won't go in. There we go. Um, and I think these two are exclusives. So Oh no. They're both white back, I think. So what store is this? I don't think I've finished a store. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I'll have this Karina up for trade if anybody wants to trade, but um, does Giselle go here? I think she does. Is she Amazon? I literally don't even know. I should look at my templates before I do this, but it's okay. I think my iPad's dead anyway, so we're just gonna <laughs> wing it. Um, and then, okay, non-album things. I don't have any non-album Giselle, just this unit card. Oh. Okay, well she gets her own page today, like she deserves. So we have this pink Christmas card. She has been like really bias wrecking me a lot lately and I don't really know what it is about her, but I love her. I feel like she is slaying extra hard with Armageddon. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm obsessed with this album by Espa. Armageddon is so good. Like all the songs are just incredible. Armageddon is such a good title track. Like, if you don't like it, don't talk to me. <laughs> we can't be friends. Um, Supernova is also... It took me a little bit to get into Supernova, but, like, now it's just stuck in my head constantly. So, they really did that. I don't know. They're just... They're slaying the game, honestly, and I'm not mad about it. I love Espa so much. I haven't set up to collect their comeback Armageddon. I haven't even bought the albums. I've just been... Yeah, 
there's I'm moving soon so there's just a lot going on and I will hopefully start to collect them soon their cards are so cute I literally was telling myself I don't think I'm gonna be able to collect OT4 because I'm not gonna have a job I'm gonna be in school full-time and you know that just doesn't <laughs> it doesn't work out having no money and collecting it doesn't work so I'm gonna try to collect OT4, but it'll probably be like primarily through trading and all that. Their cards are so cute, guys. Oh my gosh. I was literally telling myself like I'm not gonna be able to collect OT4, and then they went and dropped their best cards of all time. Of all time. Like they're just they're so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, enough yapping. Um, so if anyone wants to trade for this Karina, let me know, please. And yeah, that's it for Espa. Okay, next is the miscellaneous girl groups. I think I only have Kiss of Life for this binder, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, literally only Kiss of Life. Um, not that I'm complaining, I love them. Also, I reorganized this binder and I put Kiss of Life in the front because they deserve that. Um, these are from their debut album. Which, these cars are so hard to find, and I don't know why, and I can't even find their album for sale. Like, I'm struggling a little bit, but that's okay. Those two are Midas Touch. Um, should I separate these? Are the black ones the Polka album? I think they are. Let me take these out. And then these are album but I guess I have four of these so let me just we have two Julie I need a Nati to go here okay and then these ones should I just put these on the back the bad version is also like harder to find cards for and I don't know why but I do have an extra of this Hanul if anyone wants to trade let me know I'll be down and then, oh yay, okay, for the Polka albums, we have one of each member. That's exciting. I'm trying to collect them, like, at least one OT4 set per, like, album version. So, um, we'll see how that goes, I guess. For this one, I got an extra Julie, but I think I have more on the way that will kind of even things out a little bit, so we'll see. Um, yeah, and then I also bought a Midas Touch album, and these were my pulls. They're so cute! Oh my gosh, Miss Hunnel, I love her. And, by the way, the way that they put 1 out of 12 selfie cards, 1 out of 12 per album, and then you get a 1 out of 4 unit card, like, why didn't we do more units? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna put these, like, here. One out of 12 is so evil, so evil. Like it could have at least given us two selfie cards, but no. And then same for the jewel cases, are one out of 12. I don't know if the polka is, but evil. So yeah, <laughs> that's it for Kiss of Life and the miscellaneous girlies. And then here is the bigger girl group binder. Do I need to zoom out? Let me zoom out a smidge. I know, I like adjusted my tripod over the weekend and now I feel like it looks different, but it's okay. So, have one card for the Seraphim and one card for Red Velvet. So we can flip ahead here. Um, so Yunjin goes here. I have somehow managed to complete her photo book cards without buying a single album, um, thanks to trading, <laughs> so that's fun, I guess. Um, and I think I bought her compact card off of Poke Market because it was really cheap, so I'm just missing the Weverse ones. Those aren't like a super high priority for me, but the units are pretty cute, not gonna lie. Um, okay, Red Velvet, so Wendy... This card is from Chill Kill. I believe it's her S mini. Uh, S mini. 
which I, <gasps> wait, no, oh my gosh, I thought that was this card for a second, look how similar they look, she's just like doing a little duck lips, <laughs> okay, um, was I gonna put it here, I think I was, I think I'm just missing her other, like, package version cards, but I honestly don't really care about having every single one, so I might just stop chill kill at this because seven cards is enough. I really wish though, like, so I put all of her cards chronologically, I wish that chill kill started on this page instead of this page because they have nine cards this comeback, including like the multiple package version photo cards and that would have just looked so nice on a page but it is what it is um anyway that's it for this binder next we have rise and i just have a couple cards for today i think i made fillers for these i kind of reorganized again <laughs> off camera and made like proper fillers so the check marks are the ones that i have this hoodie card is so cute oh my gosh and then oh i think i forgot about this lucky draw but that's love 119 so hang on this one i think it's star river because i think he wrote in Chinese, so... Oh wait, but Gizuyu is Chinese too. Oh no. I think it's fan sign. <laughs> or I think it's Star River, but if it's not, I'll fix it, okay? And then... Um... Yeah, this one I will put here. I think is where that was gonna go. I didn't really reorganize this page, but... That's okay. And then I also have one band's birthday card. I don't know if I have a spot for that. Uh, ooh, I do. Okay, perfect. Although I don't know where I'm going to put Taro's birthday card once, you know, it's been his birthday. But that's so cute. I love this page. My little random, <laughs> random Rise page. And yeah, okay, that's pretty much it for Rise. And that's it for this binder. And then the bigger boy group binder. I think I just have one card. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I just have this one card for Hunbin. It's his digipack card. And let me flip ahead here. Here. For youth in the shade it's so cute look at him i love his signature by the way like i feel like it's so cute i don't know if i've talked about that before but i love his signature and yeah meanwhile jiwang just looks like scribbles <laughs> and hanbin has this nice like elegant <laughs> signature oh that's funny um okay so yeah that's literally it for this binder I feel like I'm just flying through this. Oh my gosh. Okay, next we have the Dreamies. And I just have a couple cards for Dreamscape, I think. So we can flip ahead here to the back. And I have these cards, so I think these two are the I can't feel anything version. So we have Mark and Jamin. Coming along here. And then is this the smoothie? Yes. Or Jamin. Super cute! Oh my gosh. Okay, and <laughs> that's it for the Dreamies. But I do have, again, I think I mentioned this in my last video, that I have a lot of their cards. 
on the way but just not on hand yet so hopefully soon i will be able to unbox those and get them stored away but yeah that's it for dream and for 127 i have literally one card but it's worth putting away in this video and that one is this one the signed jungle card oh i love him okay my only dilemma though is i was thinking about this the other day and so here i kind of reorganized i made fillers finally <laughs> for these two indie cards i have doyoung on the way guys <laughs> just i can't believe it honestly like it's so cute taeyong is going to be hard to find he's going to be hard to find but I'll be patient. It's okay. And so I moved the Doyoung signed card to this page, but it looks so sad. Like just having three cards on it. And that's if I even find Taeyong. Like, I don't know if I will. Eee! Oh wait, Doyoung I put in a heart sleeve. Should I do that for this one too? But I feel like you can't see it that good. But like, it's special. I'm gonna hollow sleeve it. So these are the same sleeves that I use for my 10 collection, and oh wait, the hearts are on the other side. Yay! But I feel like you can't even see the hollow that well. I feel like it makes the glare, especially on camera, like so much worse, but eh, it's okay. He's cute! Yay! But yeah, so my dilemma is this page. I... <laughs> My my first thought was, oh, I should just collect OT9. No. <laughs> no, we should not do that. Because um, I feel like I would not get trade offers for that. But I don't know. I do have Tail. If anybody wants to trade for Taeyong, <laughs> please let me know. But yeah, I feel like some of them would just be so hard to find. Like Mark and Hechan, Taehyun... They're, they would just be so expensive and like for no reason. I feel like Johnny and Utah I could get for a pretty a pretty decent price and then like tail I obviously have so yeah it would just be these four. <laughs> these four that would be really difficult to get the signed cards for. So I don't know then I was thinking do I really need to keep so for the Mumo pobs i think i just got these because it was really cheap and i was like why not and then the target cards i collected ot9 because obviously there were like four exclusive types and so it just worked out best that way but i'm like do i really need all nine but they look so good i love this outfit and i just they look so good together like l uniform <laughs> literally but yeah i don't know so i'm debating like just doing my top three for these two sets and doing it with the signed cards but i don't know like i think i'd be really sad letting go of my target cards especially tail look at him he's so cute i don't know and i really like utah they just they look so good and i love having like this nice just cohesive set so I'm very indecisive about what I want to do with the signed cards page. So let me know if you have any <laughs> any thoughts, ideas, opinions. Let me know. And yeah, that's really it. I don't have anything else for the rest of this binder. So just that one card. But it was a very exciting card. So I'll take it. Okay, next I'm going to do the like random... NCT non-album things. So I do have quite a bit here, although Jamin should go in a different binder and Tunla should go in a different binder. So let me just grab those. Okay, Jamin will be really easy, but Tunla, I have not reorganized this binder since I downsized. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna put him in a random spot, like in the back and I'll have to reorganize this like off camera so he can go here chumla with the apples 
It's so cute. I love him. Yeah, this needs to be reorganized so bad. I also, I have a ton of his cards up for sale. <laughs> if you're interested, please let me know. Because I think I've sold maybe one of them out of a lot that I downsized. So, yeah. Okay, and for Jamin, I did also take cards out of here for Jamin, but did not reorganize those. So, that's fun. Um, I guess really no matter where I put this, I'll probably have to reorganize. It's from Golden Age, so... I guess it could go here. This one's Golden Age, too. This one's ISTJ. I guess I'll just put them here. And yeah, I'll have to do some rearranging off camera, but that's Jamin. Okay, and now for these. Oh, I also did not reorganize in here. I didn't take out a ton for like Jungwoo and Doyoung, but I did take out some, so um, I don't think I have any, no, I don't have any Jungwoo in here, just Doyoung and Taeyong, so Doyoung, I have this card, and then these are his solo cards. I guess this one is not like a comeback card, it's more like other random merch stuff. Yeah, okay, this needs to be reorganized big time. Actually, I feel like Pink Christmas was before this merch. This is all just kind of random order, but kind of do like that. And then I'll put the little, you can't even really tell what he's posing with, but it's a little plushy. It's cute. So yeah, and then his solo cards. It's really annoying that I have three of them and only two will fit on this page. So I think I'm gonna do these two. I do have at least one more on the way and I think maybe a couple lucky draws so I should have at least a couple cards to add to this. This cute little blanket card. He's really doing the most for his selfies and I can't be mad about it. <laughs> I just can't. He's so cute. Um, okay, these need to be organized too, but I should have just done this before I started filming. It's okay. Wait, this kind of works out super good because these are from Shalala era, but he has like the golden age hair. So that's fun. Okay, yeah, I definitely should have organized this before I started. I feel like I should get one more card for Be There For Me. And then this one I can just move to be here. And then this card I'll just stick on this page. These are like random merch cards that I have. <laughs> 
so cool and then i also have this coon wait i should put this in the coon binder his cards aren't in here or not the coon binder but the wavy binder i literally forget that i even have that okay the wavy binder do i even have room in here <laughs> i don't know by the way how do we feel about Wavy's comeback? I know I already made like a post about it on here, but I'm in love with it. I love it so much. I am so proud of Wavy. Every comeback they have just gets like better and better, honestly. And I am just so excited for them. Okay, I feel like this one needs to move and then this one should go here because they're both golden age, but so is, oh no, <gasps> it's the wrong sleeves. Okay. We're off to a great start here. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> this one should go here. But this one's golden age too? I guess it is. Damn, okay. Did the Comas merch come before golden age? I think it did. Or was it like with golden age? I don't know, but I'm gonna put it here. And then we'll just scooch, scooch. I know I have some more on my youth cards <laughs> on the way um, that we're not going to talk about. <laughs> but um, yeah, okay, that's Coon. I also have some more cards of the other members. By the way, Hendry? Hendry is bias wrecking me so hard this comeback. Like, so hard. Oh my gosh. And Yang Yang. But although Yang Yang has always been part of my bias line. But Hendry? Man. I'm just so sad that when Wynn's not part of this comeback. Like, it feels so wrong seeing Wavy on stage with five members. I just, I don't like it. But anyway, the comeback is so good. I love it so much. I My favorite song by far is... She's a wolf. <laughs> She's a wolf is so good. I feel like it's so wavy, but like just 10 times better than anything else they've ever put out. It's incredible. I love it so much. And also, New Ride is really good. I love it. Give Me That. Give Me That is one of their best title tracks. Like, it's so fun. It's so fresh. I, wavy is making k-pop fun again. I don't know what else to say. I just, they're doing it. I don't know. I just, I love Wavy so much. I'm so happy for this comeback and yeah what other songs what am i forgetting might as well is that what it's called i have it's like playing in my head but i can't think of the title for some reason i think it's might as well might as well is really good um i don't know all the songs are really good i like them a lot and give me that is definitely one of my favorite wavy title tracks like ever i think it's even better than all my youth and it's just so good please listen to it if you have not checked out wavy's new album it's very good. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Enough yapping, although I could literally just keep talking about it. So anyway, that's it for Wavy. I don't have any other album cards. Um, are we caught up? Except for like, take off. I think we're caught up, right? Okay, yeah, we're done with On My Youth. So there probably won't be any cards until I start collecting for Give Me That. Um, I am still planning to collect OT6. Oh, by the way, the photo cards this era are so good. Like, Cowboy Coon, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And all of Ten's cards are so cute. I love the photo book concept where they're all holding like their little animals or insects or whatever you want to call them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start collecting, honestly. Like, I'm just, I'm just so excited. Okay, enough yapping. <laughs> Okay, on to one of the most exciting parts of this video. We have so much to put away. I'm so excited. Okay, we have quite a bit for Sua, but first we have a Moonbin card from Incense. I honestly don't know where to put this because <laughs> I don't really have any pages set up like for his solo cards or it's not a solo, it's with Sanha, but um, 
I think I will need a free page. I do have some more cards on the way, I think, for incense. I found a couple that, like, weren't, you know, crazily overpriced. So, is this the last album chronologically? I think it is. So, I'll put it here. So, yeah, I do have a couple more cards. I think it's just enough to fill, like, a four pocket. Um, and we'll see how it goes from there. His cards tend to be overpriced. Um, I mean, I think we all know why, <laughs> but it's just kind of sad. And I wish I had started collecting him sooner, but I did not, and it is what it is. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's it for Moonbin. But for Sua, we have quite a bit of cards, and I think I'm going to have to, like, um, arrange these by era. So there's a lot. What is this one? Okay, so... Also, somebody please let me know if the back of this card is supposed to look like this because it's from the Village of Perception chapter one, like their debut album, but then it like matches the vibe of the collective soul and unconscious. So I don't know, like, let me know if that's official, I guess, if anybody knows, because <laughs> I am a little bit scared it's not, but like, it's really good quality if it's fake. So I don't know. But yeah, so um, so we do have these two cards from their debut album, so that will go on this page. I'll just have to move these down. What do the backs of these look like? That one's green. Okay, I guess it's kind of, they're kind of all over the place, but I don't know. It just makes me scared <laughs> getting these cards in the mail, and I'm like, I can't tell if that's what it's supposed to look like or not. So, although I feel like I should move this one up here because the hairstyle matches better. Okay, hopefully the angle didn't change too much or like the zoom, um, I had to stop for a second, but we're back and now I need to reorganize these. So these are Village of Perception chapter two. Are these all chapter two? Oh wait, that's the first page. These are also chapter two. So I just have a couple cards, I guess, for um, the Collective Soul and Unconscious. I just have these two so far, and I think I'm just gonna leave this page, like, open for now. I'll leave these two spots open because I know I have more on the way. And then um, Pat Bing Su is next, so that is all of these. Okay, which of these are the tin case cards? This one. Is it four cards? I should just use a template. Oh my gosh. <laughs> also, why do I feel like this is an album card? Is it? No. It's reminding me of this one, that's why. <laughs> These are so cute! Oh my gosh. I've literally just had, like, the worst Moonsua brain rot recently. It's kind of insane. <laughs> I 
I just want to buy all of her cards and I literally cannot afford that so it's a little depressing like I saw somebody had a huge set up for sale of her t-bop chapter 3 cards and I was like oh my gosh I wanted to buy it so bad but I just know I just know I can't do that right now so and then t-bop chapter 2 Do these go together? Yes. Um, I feel like Hollow should go first. I don't know the chronological order of these. I guess I'll have to... <laughs> also, this one, I'm a little scared. This one is fake and the person I traded with didn't know about it because it's like not the right size of the card. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like significantly like shorter in width and I don't really like that. Um, it's just a weird shape and I don't know if it's legit or not, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, this one's also Everline, so I'll put it here. Even if it's fake, like, I'm just gonna keep it for now, but I don't know. Again, if you know anything about Billy Pobbs and if it's supposed to be like that, then let me know. But I'm scared that it's not supposed to be like that. So, yeah. Um, then we can put these ones here. And I think I'm gonna do the season's greetings next. Were these first or T-Bop? I think these were first because they match the hair. I don't really care, honestly, in terms of like um, chronological order too much. But yeah, and then these are the only cards I have for chapter three, but I did just purchase a couple more, so that's exciting. Yay, we finally have some more Sua cards. That's exciting. Also, I've been really thinking a lot about trying to start collecting my top three for Billy, but then I'd have to move Sua out of the Moon Siblings binder, and I don't know if I'm ready to do that. <laughs> Although she might have to move soon because um, we're kind of starting to overflow a little bit here. <laughs> we're getting to maximum capacity here, but that's okay. Um, I can always just take out her album cards and like keep the pobs in here or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for this binder. Okay, last but not least, we have the 10 binder and I will probably need a template for this. Okay, my iPad is not as dead as I thought it was gonna be, but yes, so. I have a lot of 10 pobs to put away. Um, yeah, a lot. <laughs> These are like mostly lucky draws and things. So let's just skip ahead here. Okay, 10 solo. So, I don't know if I have these. I don't think I have the Star River ones on hand yet. Where even are they? Is this one updated? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Oh, this is on my youth. Okay, that would make sense. Star River. Okay, it's not updated on this one, but I don't think I have them yet. So, let me just separate out the lucky draws. I think the majority of the lucky draw ones are going to be like the like duplicates, like the set kind of. So like these are Everline. Not that the order really matters, but I just want to make sure that we have everything here. These cards are so cute. Everline. And then... 
mixed star. Oh, I put SM Town. Which ones are SM Town? SM Town has three? Oh, yeah. This one, he's so geeky. And then these two. This card is so cute. You know that meme where they're like, um, actually, that's what it reminds me of. The finger. <laughs> and then the two Doyoung cards next to him. I love it. Okay, Makestar is... Oh, Makestar also had three. This one. And then the two blue ones. These, like, literally look like they go together, but they're from two different stores. So, what was the point of that? We could have just done one of each concept. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining to have this many extra 10 cards. I know I have the unboxing card. This one. It's so cute. He's wearing, like, a balloon hat. Are you kidding? Okay, and then with Mew are these ones. I think it's in this pile <laughs> somewhere. Okay, this one and this one, and then Soundwave is this one. And then is the other one music art? Oh no, this one. Oh yeah, they, go, they look like they go together. So that's kind of like the other page. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, music Korea are these two. So this one and this one. Oh my gosh! Okay, and then the meet and greet, I do have that one as well. That's this one, and the cute little yellow jacket. Okay, and now for the fan signs, so music art offline. Did I join the make star? This one's music art. Oh, it's because 223, 318. Okay. And then Apple Music is this one. Literally so iconic. I'm so glad that we got a card in this concept. Like, oh my gosh. I was scared that we weren't going to get one when we got like the Pobs and Lucky Draws. And I was like, he didn't give us the most iconic look. <laughs> but he did. Okay, Shopee. I don't think I have Shopee yet. No. But on the way soon, hopefully. And then, okay, Make Star is this one. And SM Town. SM Town? Wait. Where did I get SM Town from? Oh, this one. Yeah, this one. Okay, so what are these? We need to figure out what these are. Um, Everline, I guess, will be next. I should probably just move the Shopee, but it's okay. Oh no, wait. I have these three cards, but they weren't set up for... Okay, let me grab a page. So these are, I do have the Mumo offline on the way, but this is like the original Mumo pop, isn't it? Or what is this? 
Where do you go? Oh yeah, up here. But these two will have to go on this page with you in K-Town offline. And then we'll just leave the rest empty for now. Okay, back to Mumo. I did leave a spot for it, didn't I? Or did I not? Oh no! <laughs> I guess I didn't. What? Okay, I'll just put it on this page. I can reorganize like off camera later on and then we just have some of the merch. The QQ Music Lucky Draws I do have um, on the way soon. I think it'll be closer to the end of this month, the group order manager said, but they are like on hand and sorted, I think. So the polls were quite uneven. Um, so I'm hoping I don't get too many duplicates, but it is what it is. So the fortune cards. Oh, I wasn't even setting up to collect the non-selfie ones, but they're really cute. I like the logo. So if I can get the other selfie one, then we can rearrange these. But I do have the key ring and the doll cards. And then I also have the sweatshirt one on the way. Um, but I don't think I have the blanket one yet. So that's super cute. If I can't get the blanket one for a good price, then I can just get the other selfie of the fortune cards and like switch these around. So that would work out. Um, yay okay nothing else for 10 so we are all cut up i will have to make a video setting up for like the, give me that comeback i really should have done that before filming this video but oh well <laughs> i'm a little a little behind when it comes to organizing my collections um yeah i'm just preparing to move and all that so there's a lot going on but yeah okay so that's it for 10 and that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!